All right, Hyphonics 3K on the dyno. We have the music track loaded up. We're going to try it half an ohm. Not ready to handle that according to the manual. Do not do this, so don't do this at home. This is just me under testing conditions. You big dummy. What's up guys, BD Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today we're going to look at another new amp, Hyphonics BRX3016.1D. Let's open it up and check out the inside. Here you can see Caution, don't use it less than 1 ohm. Let's pull it out of the box and see what it's all about. So the amp includes a bass knob and a remote bass cable. Here's the bass knob. Yeah, just pretty generic like most of them. And here's the bass cable and some of the other things. What's unique about the cable is it uses more of a Cat5 connector. I'll get to that again in a minute. Here's all the accessories that come with it. You got some mounting hardware, a couple stickers, manual, warning guide showing you how to wire up subwoofers. That's always good. But yeah, here's the bass knob. You can see the connector here is more like a Cat5 connector. A lot of the uh, bass knobs use like an old telephone RJ11. And here's the manual. And very little deals with the specs here. I don't, in fact, I don't see any power ratings, especially RMS power ratings. All we have is the fuse required, which is 250 amp for the model that we have. And it says it uses two gauge wire, but we'll check that out later. Now let's get on to the dimensions of the amp and a lot of people just look at the specs in the manual but the manual is not even right because I measured 19 inches on the heat sink and the manual says like 17.8 so and the width we have 10 inches or 254 millimeters I believe they're pretty close in the manual they say like 9.8 or something like that so that's pretty close and the thickness uh, measured about two and a half inches and they said 2.4 so it's pretty close. So here on one side of the amp, we have the RCA inputs. We have a balanced input, level adjustment, phase adjustment. And then we have these three different adjustments for the base EQ, the center, the width, and the boost, kind of like a parametric base EQ there. And it talks more about that in the manual. Continuing on, we have a subsonic filter, a low pass filter, a mode switch for master or slave, remote base connection terminal, slave in and master out RCAs and power and protect LEDs. On the other end we have the ground 12 volt and remote connections and yes those do fit one alt gauge and also oversize one alt gauge. For the speaker terminals there are two outputs but it's a mono block amp so you can use either one or both depending on your speakers and these are eight gauge speaker terminals. Now onto some more of the specs. Here is the amplifier on the Hyphonics page. You can see their price shows $7.99. Not really sure what's up with that because this is uh, available on Amazon right now for around $260 or if you search eBay, $255, even $240 or so. So just shop around. Check the video description for links below. And here's the website again talking about what the amp's about. The BRX 3016.1D, 3000 watt Super Class D. What's Super Class D? Well, <laughs> marketing, I think. <laughs> Nothing special about this Class D amp that I can tell. Uh, here's some of the other features of the amp, including a four way protection circuitry, which we will test that out later, see how it does. And here are the specs. One uh, times 3,000 watts at one ohm. It doesn't say RMS here, so we're going to just have to assume that these are max ratings. And I wish they gave us RMS, but let's try it out and we'll see what we get. So first off, let's hook it up. So here I show some of the basic adjustments. I set the level to about halfway up. Everything else is turned down to zero except for the low pass. I always turn it all the way up. 
as high as it can go. Now this amp um, accepts one alt gauge, but we decided to use these Toolmaker solid copper dual one alt connections. That way we make sure we feed this amp everything that it wants to provide the power that it says that it does. These are really nice one alt uh, reducers and they're not as wide as the sky high. So that should work a little better uh, with some of the amps like this one. The sky highs would touch each other, which friends don't let your positive and your negatives touch. <laughs> you might have a not very good day. Alright, on to the amp dyno part here. We're going to show 2 ohm and 1 ohm runs. So first off, let's try the 2 ohms up to 1% THD, 40 hertz. It's rated 2000 watts max. What's RMS? Well, here you go. 1347 watts at 14.3 volts. And the current pull was 128.4 amps. Next up, we ran the 1 ohm to 1% THD at 40 hertz. Again, it's rated 3,000 watts max, we believe, because it doesn't say RMS. Here's what we got, 1,810 watts, 1 ohm, 13.95 volts. And we calculated efficiency this time. I'll show you how we did that later. 72.9%, so not too bad. We put 178 amps of current. So no 3,000 watts here, but let's try some of the other tests at 1 ohms and see if we can get there. So let's go up to clipping at 40 hertz, uh, 2200 watts, and right at 14 volts. So getting closer to that 3K, and the current pull was 220.6. We calculated 71.2% efficiency, so not bad. Now we try to one ohm to clipping um, using the 100 hertz instead of 40 hertz, just to see if there's a difference. And we actually got a little less. You can see 2163 watts at 13.99 volts. All right, so track one here on the amp dyno disc is the 40 hertz burst track. And I played this before for you guys, but there's been some confusion as to what this sounds like. So here, I'm gonna get, let you guys have a listen of what the 40 hertz dynamic tone sounds like. So you get an idea of what this track means. So there you have it, it's kind of like a kick drum, um, just a 40 hertz cycle. And yeah, so if you listen to music with quick transient bass tunes, then the dynamic mode does mean something to you because an amplifier that has better dynamic power can better handle those dynamic transients. Now if you listen to you know music with test tone type bass tracks that are really long single bass notes, then check out the uncertified test because that's probably more along the lines what you guys want. And if you're an SQ guy, sound quality, then watch the certified test. So my two cents is about all it's worth. All right, so after that long-winded description of what the dynamic test was, let's try it. One ohm, 40 hertz, and yeah, not quite that 3,000 watts it's rated. We got 2702 at 14.11. So still a few hundred watts away from the 3000. And we pulled 242.9 using the Fluke. 78.8% efficiency though, pretty good. So next up we're gonna try a bass song and try it out on the dyno and see how it works. All right, so here's a song I'm gonna try using the dyno to find out what kind of power the amp puts out using music. This is a song by Kevin McLeod called Military Electronic. Give you guys an idea of the bass track that's in this song. It's got a pretty good quick bass note, so let's try it out and see what we get. Alright, here we have the Hyphonics BRX301 6.1D on the dyno. 
And here's something we like to do with amps from time to time. This is test the ability for it to measure music tracks. So I've got the Kevin McLeod Military Electronic song. I'll let you guys hear a sample of that. I'm going to try it out here on the dyno. We're going to see what kind of actual power this amp does using music. So let's crank it up and see what we get. This is at 1 ohm. Wow, 3,650 watts at 14.17. Damn, it, So here's the interior of the amp. You can see we have some inductors, we have some filter and rail capacitors, two large transformers here. Not bad looking on the inside. So let's get to the results and see what this amp is all about. All right, so you notice the two ohm and one ohm tests that I ran, but here's some of the other tests, including four ohms. We got 879 watts, it's rated to do 1000 max. So not too bad at any of those loads. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video uh, after the credits, I've got a lot of extra tests that you guys may want to see. So, um, yeah, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe the video as always. Appreciate you guys watching. Got a lot more amp dyno tests coming. And the more you guys watch, the more amps I can buy and test for you guys. So, again, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Until next time, I'm out of here. All right, the Hyphonics 3K Brutus BRX 363016.1D uh, tells you in the manual or on the warning sheet not to run it under one ohm. So we like to break the rules sometimes because I bought it. I can do whatever the heck I want to with it. I know if it blows up, they won't be liable. But anyway, let's try it certified 0.8 40 hertz. All right, so it didn't do that much better. 1928 at 14.2. And man, we pulled some current, 270.6. All right, let's try uncertified up to clipping, 40 hertz, 0.8. So a little bit under one ohm. All right. 2325 at 13.8 and we pulled 295.5 amps. All right, Hyphonics 3K BRX 3016.1D. Let's add a few more numbers in there. Why don't we Hyphonics with the ooh, LED lights behind the logo? Looks pretty slick. 0.67, dynamic burst, what you think? Sure, let's try it. Whoa! 4,129 watts, 0.67, 14.23. Holy crap! 359 amps of current. All right, Hyphonics BRX 3016.1D. Got it here on the dyno. And today we're going to try a test that's not recommended. Please don't try this at home. 0.5 ohms, half an ohm. Try it dynamic burst, 40 hertz. Let's see what it does. Hopefully we don't see any magic smoke today. Let's try it out. Oh yes, 4,770 watts dynamic at half an ohm, 14.35. And check out this 
inrush current mode 425.5 amps inrush mode here of the fluke 376 hyphonics you got some 3000 watts in you good job all right hyphonics 3k on the dyno we have the music track loaded up we're going to try it half an ohm not ready to handle that according to the manual do not do this so don't do this at home this is just me under testing conditions can try out the Kevin McLeod military electronic song Let's see if we get half an ohm resistive good lord <laughs> 5825 watts at half an ohm 14.25 volts not sure the flute captured all that properly because it's not enough current 331.7 um yeah it's probably, probably didn't capture that last peak but still almost 6k dynamically using music for this brx 3016d so quite impressive feet hyphonics wow So we killed it. Big D being a dummy at half an ohm. <sighs> killed the amp. Smoke. Flowing. Got to take it outside. It stinks. Dang it. Let's unplug all the power. Couldn't do, couldn't leave well enough alone, could you, D? It's wasted two hundred sixty dollars. Dang! You big dummy.